now convening this meeting for his opening remarks. Thank you very much, Excellencies, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Just over. Mr. Andrew Wilness, keep your mouth shut. Because you come here with your big words. Come fool we. We need the brother from your party, your JLP party, to come out right now and issue a public apologies to us. So welcome back everybody. We're there. We're gonna to listen to Mr. Bro God himself. And how him feel like say how he more intellect so all more than all are we and he will we never go to school and graduate. Let's go. Of the pandemic, vaccine rollouts are gathering pace. However, we're greatly concerned that many developing countries lack access to regular and sufficient quantities to vaccinate their populations in time. Well, I'm Mr. Olness. You are talking about vaccine. Yes. You are talking about vaccination. Yes, you are talking about vaccination. Why you make it look like, say, 99% of the country, everybody not vaccinated? No, you're wrong. We aren't. We are wearing masks. Then give us a choice. Because you can't force somebody to take vaccine. No, you can't. You can't. So what you're talking about here, you're wrong. You have a choice. You can't take the vaccine or you're not take it. Simple. So let's go. An uneven and unequitable global vaccination program will lead to an uneven global recovery and sadly, a reinforcement of poverty. Shut up your mouth. Yeah, you use some big words and if you like say, oh, to you intellectual, you can use big words for we black people. You know what type big word where you use? I see him thing he come down to. Leadership. Leadership. So if you want to, we if you take the vaccine, you need to give we a choice. You don't force it on us. You don't force it. You have people. We are not animals. We are human beings. So if we decide so we don't want the vaccine, you can't force it if you take it. And other countries not force them people if you take it. So why you are in force we if you take it and I talk about other country? You ever hear say Canada force people if you take vaccine? No. Yeah, yes, Obama's a force people for take vaccine. No. Not even Haiti. You know, you're a force people for take vaccine. So why you, as a prime minister, go force people for take vaccine? Your numbers in COVID are low, Mr. Prime Minister. Very low. But why you feel like it's a time for you to lock down the country? I say so you're big, bad, and brave. You're locking down the country. Come on. You say. Vote for you because you want to issue change in leadership. You're not a change in leadership, my brother. No, sh no change. Look at the educational system right now, Mr. Andrew Wellness. Poor. The kids, them. Poor. Check it. Just check st statistic, Mr. Wellness. Can I use big words? I'm going to use it too. For the kids, the kids, them know. Check how much of them can read or write. Check. Check how much of them can spell their name good. Because what? You're implementing so much laws, you're not thinking about the kids them. You're thinking about yourself. And if you collect your money, that's all. And you're forced people to go take joke and take vaccine. Let's continue. Given the interconnected and recurrent impact of the pandemic on all societies and economies globally, unless we are prepared to enter deeper cooperation with fairer... You see it? You are focused on other countries' political crisis, not focusing on the country that you are given to run. You are focused on political 
crisis and now uh, realize say you are cause one in the own country where you govern to run. You said that you said to the people them say Jamaican Labour Party will issue a change. We change there. We not seen a change. We only know say if we disrespect you, you put we up on police van and issue a public apology. We know only if, if we realize if we say you know it's big, you put we on police van say we need to issue an apology. Me see your people, um, this big, big, big politician man keep party. Where is his public apology? Oh, we not see him on police van a few minutes later. Him keep party on a no movement day. He man in friend them. He man in labor right friend them. He man in people them. We in our politics with you. And you see what you do? You go behind closed door. You didn't say make you put him up on a police van. And make him issue a public state announcement to the people them. When govern to protect, when f when we enforce laws, not break it. So tell me now, all oh, the Labour Party, I make this world a better, make this country a better country, because when I saw no better than PNP, when I saw no better than PNP, and when PNP the in a power, bad to bad, if then they enforce the lockdown, yeah, then would not do what your party I do. Remember, you know. It's freedom of speech. You can't tell me so when me I say wrong because what I'm talking is facts. Is me? Because your friend from the from, from the same party where you're in a alleged not allegedly keep party. Yes, post on a video, yeah. You ain't saying a video, show a labor right. Pan no mo no movement there. I'm gonna pop up a video right here, so right here, so Mr. Wellness. See it ya, but let's continue. Marta. And broader views of our world and common interests, we should temper our expectations that the crisis is nearing its end. Yeah. Oh, the crisis is nearing its end. When, after you keep your big bad party, your big bad anniversary, you lock down the country. You open the country for your anniversary. Listen, you know? That's what I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. You see, politics, we don't, me not, me not like it. We would never vote for you, nor nobody else. Because what? We don't just want to go in there to make the money and come out. Take people, taxpayer money, collect it good, laugh, drink, break rules, and then when we black people stand up and talk for our rights, what want to do? We want to you up like a slavery days or a slavery thing. A man talk and say, yo, oh, me outside, Mr. Aunt, Mr. Oldness, me outside, you can't do me nothing. Few minutes later, see the video ya. Yeah. yeah man and Jonas, me out of some man, me not ready for going in yet. You think you can't tell me when for go in? Eh? I went for lockdown, me and your pitney and you can't tell me when for go in my bed. Me out of so as you can see, look. Yeah man, me out of some man. Zin, you know it's street and Yeah, Sorry and Jonas. Never mean I miss him, I don't know what happened to me. Me an idiot. People who stay in the house here yeah? and stop following people who stay in after curfew hours. You may tell you no? Alright. Oh, Mr. Andrew Oles, me sorry. Me sorry, me do it. Me not in a sense. Where the video there? With your politician member, member of your cabinet. We need to see that video when Compan National Television are in up in our police van and give we an apology. Give the public, the people of Jamaica an apology. Fee, the curfew laws won't break and the party won't keep on say show a labor ride. Because it's y'all party. JLP, show a labor ride. That's your all slang. That's not our slang. So we need an apology from him. And we, you, you gotta tell you about how you resign it. We don't need that resign. It no matter if you resign, you're not above the law. So we need an apology from you. Come on national television in a television in our police van back. We don't want to hear say, oh, you issued the video the video to the police, da 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 da. We don't want to hear that. Apology we need. Just like oh, you could have made the two youth them apologize to you. We need that too.
Let's go. Positive indications, however, and we can harness those and build them out in order to get better results if we are rational about what truly needs to be done. For example, there are those who point to the fact that developing countries have, by and large, been able to meet their debt service commitments. You know why? You know why other country can meet it? Guess why other countries can meet it, Mister Wilness? Because at the end of the day. They realize, say, we all are humans and no one is perfect. You see me? Nobody not perfect. So, then give people a chance. You can take the COVID vaccine or you don't have to take it. All you need to do, if you're not vaccinated, wear your mask. It's your risk. And for the people that may take the vaccine, they still have to wear their mask because they tell you from day one, this vaccination only prevents you from getting Kill more dangerous. It provide you is in a cure if you can't catch COVID. You only protect you from the, G the people you may not get wait. Me not even know if you explain because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a doctor. But me will put it in a way where everybody can understand. When you take the vaccine, you only protect you in the sense that the way the, the person when I when I take the vaccine, when if him have COVID, he might go sick more. He's gonna get the full blown covid everything will come with every symptoms and the person that's vaccinated is not is not going to be that much sick no you might go have made 50 percent what a sickness you might go get let me put it away there is it because you are more intellectual than i am so you are speak those big words me i break it down for you coming back to college and it is true however Debt servicing has come at tremendous socio-economic cost to our populations. Mr. Brother, don't talk about debt. Don't talk about Mr. Debt. Don't. Jamaica doesn't have enough debt rate as United States and other Caribbean country or other countries. Let me put it that way. Jamaica numbers aren't high. In debt rates. You see me? So what you need to do. What you really need to do. Is. Stop worrying about other countries. And worry about the one. That you are governed to run. Worry about. See your people them. And make sure you say. You are protecting them. This lockdown where you do. You know say. You are locked down. You are locked down your place. And you cast people if you have bills pant up or bills pant up or bills. Or you expect people to make money. Crime can't go down, you know. Crime will never go down because what? You lack of people. And when people want money, people are going to do things to get money. When kids aren't in school, kids are tended to do stupid stuff. Look at the 12-year-old. Look at 12-year-old them do nowadays. Look at 13-year-old them do nowadays. Because what? They're not in school. So you, see when you, you see when you leave the country where you're governed to run and protected and just worry about lockdown this, lockdown that. That's what? Break your country, Mr. Wellness. Let's go. Which have borne the burden of steep cuts in public expenditures. Extreme fiscal contractions are having a dramatic impact on the ability of developing countries to meet their sustainable development and climate action commitments. For developing countries designated as middle income and particularly for small island developing states. Let me talk about something now. What do you see about DACA Jamaica? Tell me now. What do you see about DACA Jamaica? Pan a no movement there. Tell me now. Tell me now. How you expect Jamaicans to feel? Knowing that it's a no movement day and tourists from other different countries, other different nations coming off them own country conduct pan a no movement day pan a, a day where a country shut down. Remember, you, know? you have a fisherman, you have a local woman who have one little shop, you have a man who roasting breadfruit, you have a man who roasting selfish. You have people who are on bus who make money from these tourists. You see me? That come in the country yearly. Them that ain't had an incident about the dock. 
how you expect them to feel knowing say yo you deprive them from making money you know how much people not feel a US dollar in their hand since this whole pandemic Mr. Oldness and you tell me say you talk about economy you talk about economy and you know say one boss did that go dark you know say the boss I got dark and you lock down the country how you expect crime and violence to stop Mr. Oldness if you say you want to put you in place to run the country and give us change. We don't see change we argue with you. We don't see change we argue with you, brother. We just say, yo, yeah, tell us we need to put you in a power for us control it. Like we are sheep. Like we are goat. And we are not animal. We are human being. You see me? So people, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You see me? Because we are waiting for this public Apology from this a big big politician man. Yeah. Not even one call the name because I don't know his name. But I see the video. I'm going to show the video right now. You see me so we out here. Let's go. Mr. Wellness. Goodbye to you and your government. Where you say you are run. Or your government body. Because you're not nobody. Yeah.